Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine and you're watching Jasmine It Up. In today's video, I have for you guys another empties video. If you guys aren't sure what empties are, basically I collect my trash, makeup, skincare, candles, anything like beauty related. I collect it and I share it and review it for you guys. So I have a big old bucket on the floor that I'm gonna go ahead and go through. I'm gonna share with you guys if I would repurchase it or not and my thoughts on it. If you guys would like to binge watch other empties videos, I will leave my empties playlist linked in the iCard above for y'all so without further ado let's go ahead and get started I feel like I don't have as many empties as I usually would. I have a lot of larger items. So maybe this video will be a little bit shorter than my usual ones. But like I said, there is a playlist that I have. I love doing empties videos. And they're my favorite to watch and my favorite to film. So the first two items I have here are both white. So the first one is the Equate, which is the Walmart brand. This is the makeup remover cleansing palette. And these are 40 in here. So I basically get these at Walmart. And I use these to clean the back of my hand and my desk off I usually grab for these probably like once a day and I have foundation on the back of my hands I'll just use this I do use these sometimes to remove my makeup it just it stings my eyes a little bit so if you have sensitive skin or if you have sensitive eyes if your eyes get irritated really easily I wouldn't recommend this but my eyes aren't too sensitive so I just use this every once in a while to remove my makeup but mostly I use it to clean the back of my hands and my desk and I do the exact same thing with these ones these are the pamper sensitive perfume free these are just baby wipes. I use this for the same reason. I keep them in my desk and I clean my hands when I'm doing my makeup, my desk, stuff like that. So these are both empty. I think the baby wipes are cheaper than makeup wipes. So I usually purchase these over actual makeup wipes. Next item I have here is also from Equate. This is the cotton swabs. There's 750 in here. This thing is gigantic. It lasts me a couple months. So I don't have to go out and purchase this as often, but I'm constantly using cotton swabs. So this is another empty and I I would recommend this and repurchase it next item I have here this is just my disgusting loofah this is just a reminder if you guys use loofahs you're supposed to change them every single month so this is just a reminder to change yours I get mine from the Dollar Tree or from Walmart usually like one or two bucks I don't spend you know a whole lot of money on a loofah so next item I have here this is the Crest 3d white glamorous white this is mouthwash and it says it's alcohol free I actually really liked this one I am trying to get into mouthwashes with no alcohol I used to use Listerine and it used to burn my mouth like crazy and it's because of the alcohol so now I went ahead and started using alcohol free ones this one was really good I would definitely recommend this super affordable right now I have one from Tom's um that's the brand of it and I picked it up at the supermarket and it's not my favorite I kind of missed this one so I would definitely recommend this one especially any mouthwashes in general with no alcohol in it I have a face wash here this is one of my favorites this is the Cetaphil daily facial cleanser it says it removes excess oil without drying your skin and this you can use a daily it is wonderful it smells like baby shampoo like Johnson & Johnson this smells so good I absolutely love this and it lasted me a very long time in the shower I kept this in my shower and every time I would wash my face with this and I feel like it lasted forever so I would highly recommend this I think it's like six or seven dollars at Walmart and you can use this if you have sensitive skin oily dry literally any skin type this is gonna work for you and this is amazing highly recommend this this has become one of my favorite if not my favorite facial wash I have two sheet masks here this first one I use it's from Tony Moly. It's the I'm Real Lemon Sheet Mask, and this is for brightening your skin. It smelled really good. I actually like the scent of lemon. I think it's super refreshing, and it just smells so citrusy and clean. It was really good. I quite enjoyed this. I got this at TJ Maxx for $149, and it worked really, really well. I kind of like the Tony Moly Sheet Mask. I just feel like Tony Moly is just a little expensive. You can get a pack at TJ Maxx, and it'll cost less than buying, you know, a bunch of these. So you kind of just have to weigh it out that way. So I definitely would would repurchase the Tony Moly mask if they were on sale or if I found them at TJ Maxx like I did then. This one I also got at TJ Maxx. This is the soothing animal face mask and it is from the beauty spot and this one is just a cute little puppy on it and this one like I said it comes in a big old pack of maybe like five or six and you can get these at TJ Maxx and it costs like four bucks so it's super cheap and affordable and you look like a puppy so it's super cute very moisturizing. I love sheet masks. Next item here I have is from Aussie. This is my favorite conditioner. This is the 
total miracle conditioner and with apricot so this smells super good this is a gigantic bottle for every like shampoo i go through like two conditioners i use a lot more conditioner than shampoo and aussie is my all-time favorite i've tried other conditioners before and nothing compares to this so i'm just telling myself there's no need to purchase any other conditioner because i'm so happy and more than satisfied with this guy i can highly highly recommend this super affordable you can literally get aussie anywhere another bathroom item i had this in my shower this is the pixie nourishing cleansing balm so this is just a cleansing balm that i use to remove my makeup so basically i just scooped a little bit out and i rubbed it in between my hands and let it like oil up and emulsify and as you guys can see this thing is all used up and it is so disgusting around the rim so this is completely used up but i rub it in between my hands and i rub it all over my face and it just melts everything very very well so i would highly recommend this i think i got this at tj maxx and i would pick it up again it lasted me forever it felt like but i love trying cleansing oils and cleansing bombs so i wouldn't run out necessarily right away and purchase that i have some oral hygiene here this is the colgate baking soda and peroxide whitening toothpaste i always get my toothpaste at dollar tree because it's a dollar for toothpaste so affordable and they sell colgate they sell crest aim they have so many different options at the dollar tree and i always get whitening toothpaste it worked really really well and their sizes aren't gigantic they have larger toothpaste sizes so these are perfect for travel because they do have mini sizes and then they have these medium ones so i think it works out really really well because i'm the only one using my toothpaste i don't share with anyone so these sizes work perfect for me i like trying different whitening toothpaste but i would definitely repurchase this one i have two hygiene products here these are both deodorants i always get men's deodorant if you guys didn't know so this first one is the men degree deodorant and it is in the scent cool rush and then i also have this suave men extra fresh anti perspirant so um out of these two i think i enjoyed the degree one more i always purchase men's deodorant they just work better for me but i would honestly purchase either one of these i try not to spend more than like two or three dollars on a deodorant but the old spice one is my all-time favorite and that one's maybe like four or five bucks but honestly it's worth it i love the old spice one i just had these two in my drawer so i went ahead and used both of these up and let's go ahead and move into some bath and body works empties so this first one here this is the bath and body works fresh market apple this is a hand spray like a hand sanitizer and instead of pumping it or instead of squeezing it out this one was a spray um there's literally nothing in here anymore but the fresh apple smelled so good very refreshing and it works very well if you have kids you can just tell them to put their hands out and then you can just spray it that way you know they're not touching the hand sanitizer as well so this was really really good another hand sanitizer that i went through this is the pocket pack this is in paris amour this is like their little gel one and this one i kept in my purse just after I went to the store I would just squeeze a little bit on my hands and I love the Paris and more scent it's one of my favorite scents that Bath and Body Works has but I prefer it in a perfume like a spray compared to a little hand sanitizer like this next item I have here this is the wallflower and this is in the scent beautiful day it does have a little bit still on the bottom but literally when I plug this in I cannot smell it anymore it is super light refreshing and this is perfect for the springtime just to have a light florally scent in the air it smelled really really good next item I have here this is the marshmallow pumpkin latte this is just a little body lotion and i kept this in my purse i absolutely love bath and body works fall scents i can literally use them all year round and the pumpkin marshmallow latte is delicious one of my favorites i would highly recommend this and this is completely used up i have two body sprays the first one here is just a little travel size one this is the japanese cherry blossom i actually got this in a gift set that someone gave to me and it came with this spray a lotion and a hand sanitizer so this spray it took me a while to use Japanese cherry blossom is not my favorite scent but I use this just to go to work I would just spray this all over myself and I got a lot of compliments it's not my favorite scent but people notice it on me so this was really nice while it lasted but not my favorite scent and the next one I have here this is the full size this is the fresh sparkling snow this one I got a couple years back during the winter time and it is so clean oh my god it smells so good i would use this before i went to bed and i would just drench myself in it it smells so good the only thing is that these don't last too long on me so going to bed you know right after i take a shower just drench this all over myself i smell super super good and the fresh sparkling snow is a discontinued scent but if you do see it go ahead and smell it and pick it up because it is delicious and i highly recommend it if y'all see this i found another wallflower this is in heirloom apple this just smelled like apples apples aren't necessarily my favorite 
sense to have in a wallflower or in a candle. I like winter candy apple, but the fresh market apple, that one's good as a hand sanitizer. And this heirloom apple, it was okay. Like my mom loves apple scented things. I don't, so I finished this off in the laundry room. And I also found another hand sanitizer. This was in You Are Magical and it has a cute little unicorn on it, but it is in Cotton Candy Cloud. So it smelled really, really good and I love unicorn. So I got this as a gift and I used it up. Everyone's going through a lot of hand sanitizer. And another hand sanitizer I use is not from Bath and Body Works. This is actually from Elf. This is a hand sanitizer with 62% alcohol. So I placed an order on Elf and they actually sent this to me for free. So I used this up. I kept it on my desk and I used it after I would blow my nose or if I needed just to clean my hands and sanitize. Alrighty, so next item I have here is another mouthwash. This is the Listerine Cool Mint. This is the one that I was talking about before. This one does contain alcohol in it and it really burns my mouth. I have to dilute it with some water. So this is just a travel size that I had because I ran out of mouthwash and this is just the one that my mom had in her backup drawer. So I went ahead and used this up but I don't usually like Listerine. Like I said, it burns my mouth so I wouldn't recommend that one. And I have a shower item here. This is from Avon but it is the Mark brand. It is Crushing on Coconut 3-in-1 Body Wash. So this smelled really good. I don't think I would repurchase it because it wasn't my favorite scent or my favorite body wash but it did its job. It smelled good while it lasted and this would have been perfect during the summertime but I went ahead and used this up because it was one of my oldest body washes that I had. Next item I have here, this is just the wrapper to a facial bar. So I picked this up at a hotel or at a resort. If you guys have seen my empties before, you know I always steal the shampoos and the dishwashing liquids and these bar soaps just to go ahead and clean my brushes and my beauty sponges. So it works really, really well. So I went ahead and used one of those up. Next item I have here is a skincare item. I picked this up at TJ Maxx. This is the Glow Nectar Tea Tree and Collagen Face Serum. I love doing an oil at the end of the day after I remove my makeup and I cleanse and I put some toner on. I love putting oil and drenching my skin in this. It helps my skin a lot. Even if you have oily skin, you definitely have to moisturize and hydrate your skin. So the moisturizer that I just finished using is the e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream. And this one is super, super basic. It smells okay. If you guys are sensitive to scents, I wouldn't recommend this. It has a light scent. So if you're not too sensitive, then this was really good. It's just a thick, heavy cream. I lather this all over my face and sometimes I would mix it in with that oil and it worked really, really well. Like I said, after you wash your face, don't forget to hydrate it and moisturize. All right, and last but not least, I save all the makeup to the end. I think the makeup is the best part of empties. So the first item I have here is a spray. This is the A Plus Setting Spray. It says it locks in makeup. It's lightweight and a matte finish. So I got this from the Shop Miss A website. It was only like $1.50, I think. And this bottle is 2.5 fluid ounces. It lasted me a while, maybe like a month or two. And, and that's like using it consistently every single day. And like I said, it was super affordable, only $1.50, and it worked really well. I have another one in my setting spray drawer, so I can go ahead and tap into that backup, but I would definitely recommend this. I don't find myself purchasing from Shop Miss A anymore. Last time I didn't have a great experience, so I just went ahead and used that up because now I'm starting to go through my Shop Miss A makeup since I'm not purchasing from that brand anymore. So I went ahead and used that guy up. And also from the Shop Miss A website, this is the Paul Paul Wonder Blender from AOA Studio. This was $1.55. This is the best beauty blender that I have ever found. And like I said, the brand is Paw Paw. It is a wonder blender. It is so soft and bouncy. It grows. It's affordable. Let me go ahead and pull it out for y'all. It's just so disgusting and dirty. I've used it for so long and I kept on washing it and eventually it gets tears in it. It's past its prime. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this. But if you guys are shopping on the Shop Miss A website, don't forget to look at the wonder blender. Put one in your cart. It is wonderful and I highly recommend it. I actually found another hair care item. This is the Satinique, I think the brand is. It's the Smooth Moisture Shampoo and the Conditioner. This is just a little travel size, like a trial pack. So this one was really good. It was a shampoo and a conditioner. It did its job. And now we can officially get into the makeup, the fun stuff. So the first item I have here, this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is my favorite face powder. I absolutely love this. I think it's like two or three dollars at Walmart. Super affordable. And I use this when I get oily throughout the day. Just take a brush and pat some and use usually in my t-zone is where I get the most oily so that's where I use this guy and it's completely used up it's just a whole bunch of pan in there next item I have here is an eyeliner this is from flower beauty this is the liquid eyeliner and this was in espresso so this was a brown shade sometimes when I'm doing like mauvier tone looks or like rosier turns I prefer going in with a brown liquid liner than a black one I feel like it's like less harsh so this one works really really well I didn't like the brush that it came with it was like plasticky 
and it was kind of hard here is what the tip looks like it is not a brush tip I don't know if that's picking up on camera like I said it's like a plasticky kind of a thing and it is not my favorite so I don't think I would repurchase this again I would like to repurchase another brown liquid eyeliner but I wouldn't purchase it from flower beauty because I don't like the brush next item I have here is a mascara this is the essence lash princess this has become one of my favorite mascaras if not my favorite mascara it is $4.99 you can pick this up at Ulta um, or Target I believe essence is sold at it is so cheap and it works wonders it elongates your eyelashes makes them voluminous this is honestly the perfect mascara I don't see myself ever purchasing a high-end mascara ever again unless I get it for free as like a birthday gift or something like that because the drugstore has the best essence mascara is the best and this one is a lash princess go ahead and get yourself one of these and you will not regret it next item I have here this is the AOA studio slim brow this is a, another shot miss a makeup item this eyebrow pencil was only a dollar and it was really really good it lasted me a while and I like the way my brows turned out with this it was more natural and I had mine's in the shade dark brown so even though my hair color is kind of black I usually just go for a dark brown and this one works really really well I highly recommend it like I said if y'all are shopping on the shop Miss a website this product is really really good five stars and last but not least I have a little baby travel size primer here this is the hourglass veil mineral primer and it has 15 SPF in it so this is just a little travel size that I got for free it worked really really well I was so hoping that I wouldn't fall in love with this because hourglass is so expensive and thankfully I didn't fall in love with this when I first tried it I thought it was the best primer ever but as I continued to use it on I realized that it still my skin was very oily especially in my t-zone so it didn't do miracles for me but I would definitely recommend it if you guys have a lot of pore problems it was very smoothing and it smelled really really good and I would definitely use this if they had a travel size like a mini size or if I got another one of these I would definitely use them again but I don't see myself going out and purchasing the full size because it's very expensive I hope you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel it is the red button down below right next to it there is a little bell that you can click on and you can get notifications every time I upload I try to upload every week every week and a half they're usually beauty related videos if you guys have any recommendations on videos you want to see from me please leave a comment down below if you guys aren't already following me on my social media I have Instagram and snapchat always listed in my description box you guys can go ahead and look there and follow me and add me on snapchat i hope you guys are staying safe and have a great day Psh.